to you the 29th day of October, last couple of days of October here. Not much happened overnight except for this Mex move. Uh, I don't know whether it's because of the caravan of migrants or I don't really know, but this is a big ass move in Dollar Mex. Last two hours really shot up. Um, we don't have a dog in this fight, so we're just watching, but it's pretty powerful. Obviously news driven. Um, I'm not going to track down the news right now. I'm just pointing it out. Dollar Mex is on the move. Uh, our focus today is on Euro and Aussie. We'll be buying Euros today and buying Aussie today. Euro, we're, we're accumulating some longs here and then we'll be adding if it gets down uh, into the low 70s. Aussie, same thing. Uh, we are accumulating longs here in the 90s. We'll be adding through all five uh, and we'll be buying in the 70s today. The market is incredibly short Aussie and the chart says it all, Aussie didn't like it down there. Um, so today looks like a pretty quiet, nothing-y kind of a day, the perfect day for a squeeze. Uh, US yields are marginally lower, 307.7 for the 10s, stocks uh, are now kind of just stuck down here, let's call it between 26.40 and 26.80, so conditions are ripe for a squeeze. Aussie and Euro are our horses, so we'll ride them and see how this goes. Don't really have much else for you. Uh, we're going to wade into this week slowly here, very, very quiet uh, session in Asia except for dollar max which we didn't participate in, so we won't chase that. Uh, let's just see how it goes. Aussie and Euro, what we're looking at today. Good luck out there. Talk to you later on Twitter.